nobody in the industry that I, I could think of is less aggressive with their marketing tactics than Justin Sandico. And he's been doing this for a long time. So in this episode, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the Guitar Tricks versus Justin Guitar articles that are popping up, mainly one. So when you Google that term or any variance thereof, you are going to get the first result that comes up is going to be from a website called Voices Inc. The guy who writes the comparison is, uh, he has his name listed as Tyler S. And the article has actually gotten the attention of Justin Sanderco, the man himself, uh, because it's just a really biased and I, w I wouldn't call it a dishonest comparison, but um, it's definitely not a good comparison. This guy Tyler tries to make the case that Justin Guitar is like what he's trying to do he's trying to funnel people into guitar tricks um and and look i'm, I'm just gonna put my cards on the table right right up front guitar tricks and justin sanderco's website and justin guitar are both great programs like they're both really good there's there's not a whole lot of downside to either one now are they different absolutely you know they they have different strengths they uh, prioritize different things they're gonna be useful to different people depending on what your goals are as a player or what you're after. But to say that Justin Guitar isn't as good just because it's free or, you, you know, if you read the article, you can see basically, basically Tyler is saying that you can't learn guitar online unless you pay for lessons. I mean, it literally says that. I'm telling you guys, that's not true. Um, that's, that's not true at all. That would dictate that you would also have to believe that you can't learn guitar without having some kind of course or some kind of teaching mechanism behind you. And that's also not true. When I was learning, I started, I was nine years old. I didn't have an online course to use. I either didn't have anything. Uh, we lived in West Virginia, we didn't have the internet. Um, that was, I guess, kind of weird. But there was there was no way that, that I could have, that I could have learned with, with anything other than being self-taught. And if, um, you know, if Tyler, you know, he's starting off his article by saying that uh, you can't learn without paying for lessons, that, I mean, that's crazy. That's not true. He's he's not being honest or he just doesn't know enough. Here's what I think is the case is this dude doesn't know enough about guitar, doesn't know about enough about music to really understand what he's talking about. Um, and no, no offense to Tyler, but his last name is Stokes. His name is Tyler Stokes, and he runs a SEO uh, search engine marketing company called Stokes SEO. You look him up. I mean, that's his wheelhouse. That's what he does. He does not strike me as a guitar player. It doesn't strike me as someone who picks up an instrument on a regular basis, yet he's got this uh, Voices Inc. music site, and he's coming up in search results. So, you know, maybe he's good at what he does. He just doesn't do music. I think if you're gonna compare something like Justin Guitar and Guitar Tricks, you need to explain to your readers, you need to explain to your audience which areas those programs both excel in and which areas they prioritize and help them understand what type of person would benefit from which program. I mean, that, and he doesn't do that. He basically spends, he's got a video up too that I'm, I'm not gonna link to because honestly the video is just, the video is probably even worse than the article. Uh, he's basically he's basically saying that, that because uh, Justin Guitar sells DVDs and because he sells books, that you're gonna kind of end up paying the same amount as you would pay for guitar tricks. That's nonsense. I, there, there is, I, there's nobody in the industry that I, I could think of as less aggressive with their marketing tactics than Justin Sandico. And he's been doing this for a long time. R really, Justin Sandico and Guitar Tricks got started around the same time, maybe back as around 98 is when they both got started. Um, and they just went different directions. Like they're, it's just, they're just two different experiences that are gonna work. For some people, Guitar Tricks is gonna work. For other people, Justin Sandico stuff is gonna work. And if you want my two cents, I've reviewed them. I've given scores. I've given strengths and weaknesses listed for each program. That way you can get a feel for whether or not one is gonna work for you over the other. And if you use the affiliate link, great. Thank you, I appreciate that. I think Guitar Tricks is a great program, I recommend it. But I'm gonna link to Gu Justin Guitar too, and if you wanna use him, don't use the affiliate link. Like, that, that's, that's no skin off my back. I would rather you get the program that's gonna work for you and not and not have you just be funneled into a paid program just, just because 
because of the commission. Like, I'm not going to do that. Uh, and I think that's what Tyler's doing. I think that's kind of, I think that's kind of messed up. I don't think you should do that. Like his video, he ought to take his video down. He ought to change his article or take it down uh, because it's, it's misleading uh, and it's not a good comparison. So I'm going to put my links down there in the description. Again, I've got reviews. I've got a comparison article. Uh, and like I said, just whatever works for you, read that stuff. And it's going to help you figure out whether or not these programs are actually going to benefit you. And if the free one benefits you, it's going to be better than the paid one. If the freed one is more suited to what you need, which it might be, then that's going to be your better option. Now that's my rant.